Okay, sixth grade, lesson 51. This one is on rounding decimal numbers. So you might ask, why would it be important to round decimal numbers? Well, let me tell you, okay? So, for example, say you went to Walmart and bought something for $6.89. What did you buy? Slingshot? No. No, no one buys Gum. a slingshot. Candy? How about a bag of gobstoppers? Okay, bunch of them. Cost $6.89, okay? And the sales tax rate at Walmart is 8%, okay? Let's just pretend I really don't know what it is, okay? So if we're trying to figure out what the total price is, what am I gonna do? Do you remember? <clears throat> if I want 8% of this, uh, do you remember it was a while ago? You may not remember. No. I don't okay, remember. I'm gonna find 8% of, what does of mean in math? Uh, multiple times, very good. So if I find 8% of this, I'm actually taking this and multiplying it by 8. But do you remember me telling you that you cannot leave a percent as a percent in a math problem? You have to deck it to a decimal number? Yes, and what is 8%? Uh, 0.8. Close. No, 8 point. Uh. Think, thinking because percent means per 100, so what would that look uh, so like as a decimal? Zero 0.08. 0 0.08. Excellent job. Okay. So we figured that out, that 8% was really 8 over 100, which is really 0.08. Okay. Now, let's figure this out. 9 times 8, 72. Round it, or carry the 2, 7. 8 times 8 is 64. 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. Carry the 7. 8 times 6, 48. 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 55, okay? That was for the eight, okay? We did this, then this, then this. Now we need the zeros, but there's no point in doing zeros because you just get the same answer, right? Zero, 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 doesn't matter, okay? So now my answer is 5512, okay? It's but what do you remember? Actually, 0.5512. Yes, because there are one, two places, three, four places in all after the decimals, right? So you start here and you go one, two, three, four. Now, look at this problem for just a minute, okay? I had, I said that 8% of $6.89 is 0.5512. Well, in America, we only have coins that stop here ones and tens, or it can actually be quarters, but this is the farthest it will go, right? With money. Something could be $5.35, but we cannot go past this hundredth spot with money. So, guess what that means? What? I have to round this. To so, 60? Stay with me for just a minute. <clears throat> what you're gonna do, is you're gonna look at the last number, your hundredth, your hundredth spot, okay? And you're gonna go, I'm gonna to look to the right of that. If it is five or higher, this rounds up. If this number is One. five or higher. Okay, you round 55. 55 would go to 56. If it was five or higher, if this, Right it's here. gonna be 54. No, it doesn't change, it just stays. Oh, okay. That would have been, you know, it's kind of good thinking, but basically what they do is if this number is four or lower, this stays. Okay. So let's pretend this was a seven. Okay, then it'd be 56. Okay, so what I would do is take the $6.89 and add how much to it? 56 cents. Yeah. To find out the total price of the gobstoppers plus the tax, which is 57 cents, and see what your total bill is. So let's do that real quick. Um, 14, $7.45 is what you would pay total to Walmart. This would go towards the gobstoppers, and 57 cents would go to the tax company. Got it? Okay, so you see how that works? Okay, very good. So, it's important that we learn how to round decimal numbers. 
So anytime you're doing money, how many places after the decimal are you going to round to? Two of them, right? Did you hear what I said? Yep. So if something is after you add everything and you get four, five, six, nine, you're gonna. What's gonna happen? You're just gonna round to the first two. I want to. I look to. Remember, it can only go past. It has to stop right here. Oh, so the. So uh, I look to the number to the right. Point four six six so, nine. Yes. Yeah, so this would just be this, and then we would erase this. Because that six was five or higher. Okay? Mm -hmm. And because it was five or higher, we changed the number. If it was not five or higher, we would have left the number as five. And it would have been $5.45. Got it? So how many decimal places are after a decimal with money? Two. Two. Only. Ever. So even if you have more numbers, you need to round them. Okay? On any of the problems. You feel like you got it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's try um, another one, okay? So here's what it says. Sheila pulled into the gas station and filled up her car with gas. And here's how much gas she got. 10.381. Now this wasn't the price. This is how many gallons. Oh. Okay, so stay with me. And they want me to round, uh, round this um, to the nearest tenth of a gallon. Did you hear what they said? Round to the nearest tenth of a gallon. Do you know what that means? They're wanting me to stop after the tenth spot. Where is tenth on here? Eight. Wait, where is tenth? Oh, three. Yes. So they're wanting me to stop here. They're wanting me to round to the nearest tenth. So it'll be ten point four. Very good. So you look to the number to the right, and yes, it is five or higher. So therefore, we round it to 10.4 gallons. Okay, got it? Uh -huh. Last one. Okay, and I need you to pay attention to this word right here. What does it mean? It means round the numbers first, first. then answer the problem. You can write okay. that down if you want to. You don't have to unless you think I've been drilling it into your head, so you may already know it, okay? But if you don't write it down, that's fine. Okay? It means to round your numbers first before you answer the problem. Okay? And so here's what they're wanting us to do. They're wanting to us to estimate the product of... 6.85 and 4.2 and they want us to round to whole numbers okay mm -hmm. so look up here when you get done writing it down okay okay there here's the problem they're wanting us to estimate the product of 6.85 and 4.2 product is subtract close Multiplication. Okay. okay. Product means I'm going to put an X for multiplication. So they're wanting us to multiply these numbers. But estimate means you're going to change these numbers to round them and then you're going to multiply. Okay. Okay. How do now, you round them if there's not three? Here's digits? what it says. Here's what it said. Round to a whole number. Oh. Okay. okay. So that'd be seven this point be zero zero. Or just seven. Yeah. Okay, and this would be? That would be four. four. Very good. So you can always use this rule, no matter what. Look to the right. Is it five or higher? No. So therefore, it stays. So basically, what am I going to do? Seven times four. Seven times four is 28. Got it? Feel like you understand it pretty good? Okay. This would have been wrong if you would have taken 6.85 times 4.2 got your answer and then rounded that's not estimating they didn't tell you to round your answer they told you to estimate the product okay and estimate means you change this first before you multiply it or before you add it or before you subtract it okay got it mm -hmm. that is lesson 51